watching CBS 2 News in high definition. So what would you do for a good night's sleep? There seems to be no end to products to help you get some quality shut eye. Some are expensive, some are even painful. CBS 2's Alex Dennis has a look at some of the latest sleep extremes. I can sleep everywhere. Comfortable bed, that's my secret. Without a good night's sleep, it's gonna cost you a lot. How do you really put a price on uh, how much sleep is worth? And that's the $72,000 question at Savoir Beds in Soho, where the custom-built bed is priced at $72,000. That's right. This handcrafted sleeper can cost as much as a down payment on a home. Your body truly, really begins to float. Alan Danzis didn't spring for the bed, but he did spend about $150 on Sheik's high-performance bedding made from the same dry-fit fabric you're used to working out in. And I definitely do notice a difference that's a little bit cooler, and that sort of help, definitely helps me fall asleep at night. This material is designed to whisk away moisture to keep you comfortable for a deeper sleep. I mean, it's so important to make your sleep environment comfortable. Uh, from the sheets you sleep on, to the bed you sleep on, to the temperature in the room. And even the temperature of the pillow. This gel-based pillow claims it will help chill you out for a sounder sleep. Danza says his stays cool for several hours. This pillow technology weighs in at a hefty 12 pounds and costs about $100. If I see something new, I'll give it a try then he might want to try this Helsamat. There are nearly 9,000 spikes designed to hit acupressure points on your back to relieve stress. It's the same principle as a bed of nails, but slightly more comfortable. It needs to have a little bit of pain, which has in the beginning, which you get used to. Sharp, but not in a bad way. It's not for overnight, but it can be used before bed to help calm you down. But you can also use it to start your day. It can be very invigorating and energize you. Can I stay here for five minutes longer? <laughs> No matter what sleep gadgets you try, if you're sleeping six to eight hours a night but still feel sluggish during the day, make sure you speak to a doctor. Alex Dennis, CBS 2 News.